he said twitter space is with sandeep uh, from polygon and he said that the one thing that most founders don't get in the web3 space is that you should have started building your community yesterday what i've seen is that when you're building a web3 company it's not really a company that you're doing you're building a decentralized network that eventually runs itself right all the great successes and the uh, you know and the great networks and uh, tokens that retail buys and things like that these are all on the path to uh, you know progressive decentralization uh, what i what i feel is that even though you're building something that should run autonomously later on you always start as a startup and you always are a founder of a, of an ideology of a movement and, and in that sense uh, you know it's not very different to the usual web to root which is usually i have a product i built an mvp there's some traction that i found i raise money to scale my operations and then eventually get, get to an exit which is either a company going public or a company being acquired in very few outliers other own been able to do this without external funding but that fuel is pretty much necessary to basically uh, do a lot of things in a very short amount of time uh in a web3 company what you should be looking at uh, are three key mindset shifts uh, uh in that sense and, and and the first thing that you have to keep in mind is that your end goal is actually exiting to community uh, this doesn't this this usually means that uh, a community will eventually govern the way in which your network functions um and and in our uh, you know i've done one of these accelerators with binance before and uh, a, a good one of the mentors from there had a very very uh, interesting way of uh, of putting this over uh, the three models in which uh, the three stages of building a web3 startup is as follows one is that you build something and you build a uh, you build a basic mvp to showcase that the problem that you're trying to solve uh, is effectively solved by your method right uh, two is you raise money uh to basically grow traction to grow community to grow uh you know your uh your reach and and so on and make this a network of of formidable value and whether that's defi or nft or uh you know an infrastructure project or a game or whatever you'll have your own metrics for that and you use the funds to basically grow that out uh but m- most importantly in the end what you're doing is exiting to community and this is where the token becomes really really important the token is your means to exit to the community which means that uh, the token has utility the uh, you, uh, and that utility has some function uh, in the network that you're building and uh, the more and more people who hold those tokens that is in a way you being able to dilute your control over the company and hand it over to the community so that's the first shift the point is not capturing as much value as possible the point is giving away as much value uh, as possible in return for network growth so that's the first first mindset shift the second mindset shift is uh, you know a day zero community mindset now what does this mean uh, is that you know a lot of people uh, all these web3 projects are built on ideologies that uh, we are all have an overarching uh, ideology that the world should be decentralized and and, and more equitable um one bundle of that is the kind of, is the project in which project that you're working on and the message of that project uh, is enough to start uh, putting a community together we did a recent twitter spaces with sandeep uh, from polygon and he said that the one thing that most founders don't get in the web3 space is that you should have started building your community yesterday uh, and uh, it, as you can see that this whole the centerpiece of everything that is web3 is uh, is this community and uh, i think the next the second mindset shift that is uh, that is different is that uh, you should start aligning as many people uh, who uh, resonate with your product from uh, from day zero uh, so uh, you know you should uh, th- that is something that you shouldn't keep for later uh, so you know you want to ideal uh, once you bring these people with similar ideologies in one place then your product has a ready user base and then they become your ambassadors and they start contributing to the project in a meaningful way and go forward and all of this starts if you have that day zero community mindset uh, and and finally uh, the last mental model that i'd like to change is the day one public mindset most companies fix everything in the way in which they're governed in the in way in which they run their profits and losses their 
uh, you know, key hires and everything that, that, that those processes are set right up to, uh, uh, right up to the point that you've gone public and then you become accountable to your shareholders uh, uh, from that point on. This happens day one in crypto, uh, in Web3, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, what does this mean that the second my token for that network is publicly available to use and buy or trade, I have become answerable to everyone who, who does that right now to, uh, to this place. So that public company mindset uh, is, is extremely necessary as a very fledgling startup. Now, uh, does this mean that you've got to have everything sorted uh, before you launch your token? Ideally, yes. But uh, even if you don't, that transparency as to what you're doing next, the transparency as to who you're bringing on, what opportunities you're going for, what updates are happening on your, on your product, you're answerable to them from day one. And the best Web3 founders are actually extremely good communicators to, the com uh, to their community. And uh, that is something that uh, more founders are kind of entering this place kind of take some time getting used to. So to reiterate, uh, I think that community mindset is the one big thing that uh, most founders entering Web3 for the first time have to keep in mind. Uh, and to articulate them as three mental models, one is that know that from day one that you're going to exit to the community and that is your end game and uh, your progressive decentralization should tie in with that. Uh, the second thing is even before you start building your product, build a community around the ideologies that you have. So, uh, you know, you have more and more people aligned with you and your chances of finding contributors who will eventually decentralize your product starts from day zero. Uh, and I would say that that is a focus that you're going to have to have from very, very early on. And then finally, uh, uh, a day one public mindset, which means when I launch, I am answerable to uh, the equivalent of or even more than what a public company has. And constantly communicating and being transparent about where this project is going and how it eventually de decentralizes has to start from that from that very day. And the best founders do that exceptionally well. If you're a Web3 founder, uh, I hope some of this resonated with you. And I'm sure that I missed out on more mental models that uh, perhaps uh, you know needs to be added for somebody who is just entering the space. Uh, if there are if there are things like this, do uh, take the time to comment on the uh, on the video, and uh, catch me on the next one as we break down smaller tidbits about what it means to build a web startup.